Yeah, it, it really is. It's going to have to be, you know, a massive performance out of BLG or a, a big step up from some of these uh, other teams that are kind of around them. You know, Top Esports, LNG, maybe Weibo at ceiling if they ever decide to find it. Uh, one of those kind of teams. EDG as well, right? I suppose if they continue to ramp up with the level of veterancy they have, maybe it's the old dogs that come in and teach some of these JDG players how it's done. But that way... We are straight into game number two. YSKM. Get the Fiora. It's Fiora this time. And uh, it's I pretty like much it. an identical composition, actually, from IG. It's just that Gwen swap out over to the Fiora. So even more emphasis on the side lane. But my big issue is if JDG have LeBlanc, then they're never going to win the side lane. Uh, we'll see how yeah. things pop out. We'll see how he gets on as oh, YSKM, even using IG Fiora. This one. I think, he norm I think he normally does, actually. Yeah. He plays it all the time, but uh, yeah. it's kind of a, a testament to the shy, of course. We come back in. Both teams pretty much picking up almost identical compositions uh, in terms of the bot lane and the mid lanes. Oh, wait, the only real she, changes she, are 369 for the Nar. Aww. I'm gonna dance. Aww. I'm gonna dance. They're doing a little dance. Do the dance. Yay! Yay! <laughs> there you go. Da, 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 da. It's like a four-person <laughs> four square dance. Someone go get Mazel. I know he's got his hat somewhere. Oh man, he's he's ready. He's he's gonna pop into the call any minute now and just be like, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's not yeah. a, you know. It's not even a stereotype. I'm t as as I I was there recently. It's it's not it's true. It's, it's, not a it's literally it's just, it's that just facts. <laughs> <laughs> it's just straight facts. But that was that was very cute. I love to see the camaraderie, and it's always something love to see. But I mean, yeah, for IG. You're kind of seeing it. I, I don't want to see them stop the aggression. I need to see nope. them throw in this one, kind of keep going what they did, because that worked for them for the first 15 minutes in the game. It got YSKM ahead. It got them some decent kind of footing in the game. They need to kind of bring that one back. I want to see them be aggressive once more. Yeah, so do I. I mean, I feel like my only big issue is in the difference in draft for IG, right? From going over to the Gwen uh, as opposed to the Fiora. I'm actually, I, I can't recall if JDG banned it. I don't actually think we had a lower third at all, did we? Of it. We just had. Uh, Pick straight nope. up. So we just went straight uh, in. Assuming that JDG banned it, and this is why we're on the Fiora pick now, this time around. Maybe it was also a Cassante early rotation here for JDG. Uh, just the fact that it doesn't have as much team fight presence is my big worry, right? Um, and it needs to be even further ahead than the Gwen was, I think, to be executed efficiently into this comp composition here from JDG. So maybe Tianjin really hard forces on this top side in 2369, but. It's Cassante. You know, he's significantly harder to dive than the Narwhals. And the windows will certainly be smaller. And if Kanavi really wants to, he can even cover these top side plays potentially if he just feels like the bottom side are going to win out in the 2v2 in isolation. So, IG, I wouldn't say their hands are tied. Certainly already behind their back, but they're going to have to fight to really gain a little bit of freedom in terms of winning out on those skirmishes. Can't tell you the Gwen was banned. Uh, okay. I've got confirmation of that myself. Uh, and the Rengar on the Jax. So, you know, kind of kind of coming in here for uh, JDG. They knew they had a plan and they knew how to do it. So uh, IG, trying to see what they can do here. I like the Fiora pick a lot as well, but I will say that uh, you've got plenty of things that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it in a side lane. Obviously, the Cassante is one of the ones that I would say in the early game is fine, but later it goes on, the Fiora does win out. But the, the Blanc, once that static shift comes in, will start to be able to just kind of clear out waves so that, that the side lane pressure isn't going to be as significant as some people might think it will be. But already YSKM is pushing in that wave, making sure he's getting those demolished procs, can he get as much pressure as he possibly can and see if IG can make something happen here. Yeah, so this is one thing, and he actually did it in the last lane against 369 as well, uh, into the NAR, where he was just abusing the demolish procs, right? So demolish, I think, has, I want to say it's 45 seconds cooldown. It could be 60. Um, and you just want to shove in like every second wave, make it crash, and then just proc demolish. Uh, there is kind of this very weird stalemate standoff where unless 369 is taking some awful trades, it can be kind of hard to actually kill off the Kazante in this lane. So just play to get all of the plate gold off, right? There's so much gold sat inside of the tower. If you can play for that instead, because realistically the Kazante should never be able to kill you, that works just fine as well. Now, speaking of being killed off, chains connected onto Kryon. On top. Oh, he's gonna have the flash. Should be fine to keep himself out there. But yeah, again, Kanavi just focusing in on this mid lane, recognizing this, you know, AP, technically AD, AD start, but uh, we all know LeBlanc's AP primarily, but uh, getting that burst down is so valuable. And uh, yeah, just seeing him having one of the great things. And this is something that we haven't really actually kind of had a chance to talk about 
it's just how good uh, JDG are doing. But I mentioned that very, you know, kind of recently when we talked about the MVP. Kanavi's having an insane split. Like, really showing top form. Like, honestly, could be in the conversation of maybe, you know, one of the top junglers in the world, if not the top jungler with the way he's been playing, and already covering himself down bot side to make sure bot lane isn't, you know, getting ganked. And this is, again, what he's been doing so well all split, honestly, since spring. It has been, look at this, more pressure. But Tianjin, <laughs> it's like, it's just as you say, isn't it? Tianjin was about to counter gank, but it's not really a major hard commit. It's just a flash hour wink. It will take. Still, pressure is pressure found. We'll take it. Every single day of the week, JDG. Wouldn't even be surprised if they turn it at some point into a very early dragon. Uh, Knight will die. So that's a yeah. one for one trade, but first blood over to JDG. His Knight is honestly, <laughs> you can see him on the cameras. On yeah, just, just recognizes, you know what? This is great practice. I know the limits. Yeah, he's like, man, if, if I had 30 more HP, that next tower shot. <laughs> and he just downloaded the data in his head. That's it. It's there. Yeah, he's, we're, we're figuring out what runes could I take? Could I have taken a Doran's Blade instead? Like, how do I get this health back? <laughs> exactly. Oh, this is probably going to be able to stop the base. Or just I don't die. think he will. Yeah, yeah, I was going to okay. say, I think he was being a little bit greedy. He should have been fine with just making but, sure the wave didn't crash in. But, good for IG. Ruler, Ruler got the wave. So, who's the. Did he miss that cannon? Oh, did he miss the cannon? I need to look back at that. I, I really think hope, I saw I really the hope I'm I think serious. I don't think I saw the ninety <laughs> pop up. Crying is double chains. I don't think they have the damage to kill him. Oh, but they knight, have the damage though. to kill Knight. If they yeah. do have the damage to kill Knight, and Cryon doesn't die either. Okay, IG, we're going back from game number one. Keep that momentum going. Try and keep JDG on the back foot. Get them kind of, you know, on get a bit of pressure on them. Okay, okay, IG. Alright, you can see JDG, they're, they're playing a little uh, a little fast and loose. Ah, as uh, Tianjin's going to find out Kanavi here and with PTA. And this is a matchup where, if, you know, whoever hits first normally wins the 1v1. So Kanavi would lose in isolation, unironically enough, but he's not isolated. He's got his body with 369 having first move, so we'll secure that skull crab. Those crocs to go over can even just cover 369 on this gank attempt if Tianjin would be also overzealous to come up here and gank it straight after the Grom. Certainly seems to be uh, the case. Oh, nice repost. Good flash, but can he get away? No, he doesn't need to. He can turn this one right back around as Tianzen makes his presence known. IG looking to be more of a nuisance in the thorn in the side of JDG. They'll get one. They'll get two. Sure, look, we'll get them all. Two more kills over to IG. Five and one. They are starting to build that momentum again. Top versus jungle. Jungle versus top by the end of it. IG went out this time, and that wave is actually pretty big. Wisecam's also got demolished, no doubt. So this is two plates, as well as the gold swing of the kill, at least, for Wisecam. This is huge for his lane, and IG as a whole, in terms of the side lane prospects later on down the line. So let's see how this one works out, because JDG, I mean, not to take anything away from IG's responses, it feels like they're not necessarily trying to uh, be super serious <laughs> on every single play they're committing to right now, as... This was just, again, surely you have an idea Tianjin is probably going to be waiting around here, right? Like, if this is BLG, do you do it? Really? Probably not. But IG, they don't care. They get the like, easy, easy rundown. Like I said, Wise on Kanavi, Tianjin on 369. Each claim a kill. Almost Divine Sundra already, whilst 369 is scrambling for basically Sheen and a Bramble Vest. So he has several, I wouldn't say several thousand gold down, but he's at least one and a half thousand gold down, I think. Yeah. For sure, and we'll see again. Just great to see IG going in for, with a, with a play, game plan and trying to get JDG off kilter. However, we always have to add this caveat. Great start. It's only a thousand gold lead, and we can see in that bot side again 20 CS, a turret play, more pressure, more presence from the uh, uh, JDG bot side than IG. And it does feel like you're just in a losing game the longer this game goes on. And now that Static Shift picked up for Knight, you're going to have to be creative around this map a lot more frequently from IG because we saw what happened in game number one. Exactly. It, it, again, the, the tempo has to be kept high. Big hit, a thing here for IG. If it's not, you just imagine that JDG, again, kind of do something similar to what they did in game number one. They start to win out skirmishes. It's like they just pull the wins out of the air at times. And they they have a very frustrating comp to actually deal with as well. When you think about the mobility, right? Vi's going to come in huge. Norless as well. Those big point and click CC ultimates. 
with uh, lockdown Kanavi, lockdown Knight, lockdown Ruler. The IG have the tools. It's about whether or not they can keep trying to draw a lead and whether or not they can continue to use those tools efficiently. Tenchen should just about... Oh, he's taken the wrong way, but he's still going to find out Kanavi here. And Kanavi should be able to jump and hop and skip his way out. Even pops out the unseen threat to make sure he gets out alive with that extra little bit of movement speed. But again, good to see here from IG getting themselves a more pressure and presence, making sure they're not just letting JDG dictate the, the kind of pace of the game. In all of my years of League of Legends, I, just, I believe it's unseen threat. Or maybe I mean, that's his passive. I think that's the passive, Could be his it? passive. Yeah, could be his passive. You know it's what? Void assault. That right it's now. Void Assault. Void Assault. There yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Passive is unseen threat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wondering, sounds like... Unseen threat, yeah, sounds like a really cool name for his ultimate, to be fair, yeah. That's what I thought, because he goes he goes unseen, oh, you know? Uh, well, speaking of unseen, unseen, he was indeed. Bramble is going to connect. Pop Blossom pops. Knight, six to one. Good momentum, IG. Keep it up. Come on, I want to see some more life out here. Fake. <laughs> That was the most Irish I think I've heard you in a while. <laughs> but I agree. <laughs> I, I agree. More Irish a sheen than usual. <laughs> I want to see more like The voices took well. over for a second there. <laughs> oh, oh, there goes the aggression. Go on, get in there and get some damage down. Missing is now founding himself in a little bit of a 1v2 as Kanabi wants nothing to do with this one here. The Magnus Storm kind of brings everybody closer to him. And yeah, flashing over the wall keeps him alive. Night TP's back in though to make this one work for his team. And now JDG feel confident to take this fight. They're looking to go forward with this one, but again, missing with no ultimate, no flash, really vulnerable if he goes in. It's almost a suicide mission. Yeah, this should mostly be dragging all of those plenty of pick almost down. Is there a teleport angle for YSKM? There is, and he's got Divine Sunderer, no doubt. He'll on top of the dragon, he's got it still. He's gone in and got the steal, but now the fight can really happen. There's going to be 369 right in the middle of absolutely everybody. There's going to be the clans on, looks for the Infernal Trigger, but he is stunned up before he can do anything. The Kha'Zix and the Rel are traded back, though. IG come out with a two-for-one trade, and the Dragon. This is still very good here for IG. YSKM doesn't have a flash to follow, but Knight's kind of in no man's land. He does have vision, but they know it's going to be a pretty hard task to try and catch out this LeBlanc, so they let her be. Yeah. LeBlanc will be allowed to return her home, right? Be fair, why is Cam strong? If a well timed repost technically could, but he doesn't want to flip the burger. Not which is yet. a shame, because I would I would have loved to have seen a burger flip it. But yeah, IG, like you say, they kind of get away with basically everything they need, right? They get the dragon, Tian Gen steals that one away. Kind of surprising, right? In front of a Kha'Zix of oh, that's an interesting flash from Kanavi. Uh, <laughs> interesting <laughs> that in live word. Yeah, like you mentioned. Uh, Arn is stunned up before he even gets the cast. The ultimate there. And Ice Cam was pressuring Ruler over the wall. Makes him flash. Follows 369 as well until he gets his flash out. So good job on that teleport flank. As Ice Cam, he's going he's gonna to try to run him down. He's mad. He's angry. He lost he's that play. He's got to try. He's gonna try for a sure as YSKM will be able to kill him off here. No flash available Ooh. for 369. One more proc with a baby saying the grand challenge come out because it was just off of cooldown. YSKM still building off of this though. Still coming out very much ahead of this uh, top lane trade. We're seeing 369 going back to his roots of being a uh, weak side carry. Will they be able to kill off Shelly? They will not. So they will be able to get a head buff in the mid lane. They will. So I was just thinking, and there's actually a, a running joke of a friend of mine where uh, I get fired from the LPL because I speak Jamaican Patois. Now, you've just gone full Irish. At what point do I get to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that would be amazing. No one would know what any of us are saying. No, that would be it, awesome. <laughs> it would be, it'd be pretty hilarious. And Because like, both, both of us, like, I like the thick Irish accent. I feel like a lot of people just don't. Oh it. yeah, like 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 I, I I know I still sound Irish, but I am I oh, am yeah. fairly neutral. Oh, no, like like, like like lyric lyric met my dad and was just like I thought you had an Irish accent, but <laughs> my God, your dad I could barely understand half the things he said, and I was like, and that's not even that strong, man. Like that's that's someone who's fairly well like you know spoken in his own right. So that'd be amazing. Oh, what a cast, what a concept. <laughs> yeah. A bit more. 
the no. Kanavi. We are... Yeah, Pop Blossom. Maybe to catch out Kanavi. Can they burst him out before he gets out? No, Ooh. the Void Assault gets him into an Unseen Threat. And now Crying is going to be crying because he thought he was so close yet so far. 369 is getting solo followed by YSKM. They should know him. They will after this game, 10 to three, but it's not an accelerating gold lead. It's only about two and a half, but IG still making moves. Yeah, IG still making moves two for one. At the end of the day, it's not the worst in the world. Recall here is a curious one from Arn because he is in Timbuktu alone. <laughs> like he is very far away from everyone, but uh, doesn't want that tower, I guess. So just look for the reset, get a couple of items. Curiously, by the way, and this has to be LS's worst nightmare. He's gone collector first, but you have to remember collector. <laughs> Collect no, 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 Oof. collector. No, 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 collector. <laughs> collector did get buffed uh, to the point where it's got 18 lethality, but... right? You know, so it's. I'm sure it's a fine. Not terrible. It's a fine first rush, if uh, you're looking for some of those resets. Of course, Dustblade really powerful. This is how this one v one unfolds. Flash, just keep following on top, and yeah, there's not really anything. That 369 can do outside of just be further away from YSK and while that kicks off. Good chain CC here. Almost locks down Kanavi, but not quite enough damage. That Void Assault, as you mentioned, a little bit too difficult. Get around from Tianjin does pick up. Missing because he was a little bit too low from being inside that mix up. Ryan as well gave over his knife, but as we come out of the replay, hey, it's a Herald again to Tianjin. Wink was really angry at Kanavi and wanted to keep that wall alive. He'll do it. We'll cost him his ultimate. And already the ult, or excuse me, not even the ult, but also the red buff. He wanted to try and uh, deny that, maybe, but uh, Kanavi sitting at 0 and 2. They've kept him pretty well under wraps right now. You can see the top half of the map doing exceptionally well here for IG. As they look to try and maybe see if they can get this dragon stacking for them. It's an unfortunate situation for them that despite them getting those first two dragons, it is a chem soul. Great for someone like a Fiora. The. Uh, after that, we'll we'll see how much value we're able to kind of get out of it. Just uh, a little bit there. So and honestly, JDG could lead this one going for the the fact that we always talk about it is that you know you get gold and then you start building up that elder kind of win condition, and it's exactly what they're doing. They don't care, and I totally agree with this play coming out from JDG. Oh, okay. Bear with me. How funny would it be if JDG just decide to not contest the next dragon either? I mean, they probably and, could. And oh. Uh, well, Kanavi decided he wanted to contest. I'm not quite sure why. And he dies because of it. They could have given it away. They got two towers on top side. I, I love how powerful the caster curse is. I just talked about how Kanavi was having the split of his career. And he comes in and goes, you know what I need to do? I need a 1v3 contest this dragon, which I'm never going to steal in a million years. Like, well, why? Funny. That's why. That charge is going to go through. But with the teleport <laughs> from Nike. <laughs> the Teleport Renite is going to keep that tier 1 alive, but you can see how low that is. That's going to go down during a strong storm. Uh, YSKM's alright. He does have people collapsing. Knight on the long haul, but again, like, a little bit too far away. The issue is, I don't think they can, they can dive in. Ah, if he takes enough of a chunk. Oh, Ooh, missing. Not quite able to get himself the CC down, but with the parry already there, YSKM looking for one more proc. A static shiv is taking him out just before he's able to kill off missing. And this is what we always talk about. You're talking out of the lead. It's all of a sudden now only a thousand gold lead. That tower in bot lane is also going to bring it back to probably about 500. The game is slightly and slowly just turning away from IG as JDG's gears start to turn. Uh, dude, like, IG ha Okay, Kanabi. Is he dead? I mean, he's probably fine, yeah. Gonna okay. have a flash away over the wall, so... Like, but again, not quite IG. sure why he's decided this game he wants to be at an absolute inter, but sure, look. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I IG are three dragons up. Seven kills up. And the gold difference is even. Yeah. <laughs> like... I don't know. It's hard, like, man. Are, are JDG just the US government? They just print money on the bar. Yeah. Like, what is going on, man? How do they do it? It's absurd. Anyway, Wisecam uses the repost to... <laughs> Okay, I didn't actually realize how <laughs> wide missing was on that yeah. swing. <laughs> pretty, pretty wide. It was, uh, oh, look at live. Knight missing now, kind of comboing up again. The dynamic duo, Batman and Robin, Knight missing, is uh, kind of making life a little bit harder here for IG. And yeah, I mean, like, yeah, they're going to take the gold lead with this. 
You're seven kills up, three dragons up, and you're now ahead in goal. Finally, YSKM gets this tower on bot side to try and eke it back to an even setup. But, I mean, this just shows you how genuinely terrifying JDG are. By all metrics, they're losing, but they're not. Uh, also, 369 died. I'm not quite sure how. Okay. Ch check the PCs. This is not normal. Surely, they, <laughs> they, I think they have gold runes or something from, like, 2010. Just <laughs> Still <laughs> locked and loaded. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just props to JDG, right? At the end of the day, they, they do have two extra towers, I suppose. And some of the kills that they have picked up have been shutdowns, but still a very peculiar sight to see. Nonetheless, IG will go on undisturbed. They will continue to look for picks and plays when and where they can. But again, the slipperiness of JDG's composition does make it very hard to lock down some of these uh, carries here. The namely Kanavian Knight, probably the hardest. It won't stop IG from trying. It's Tian Gen. Oh! They're looking for Knight, but again, you talked about how slippery they are. Missing not quite as slippery on a giant metal horse. We'll see the clone of Knight getting taken away here. Now, do IG want to turn for this Baron? It would be risky. It would be a 4v4 because they do not want to try and take YSKM out of the bot side. And they're happy with just the pick. So good to see IG kind of, you know, continuing that forward momentum and saying, look, we need to keep going for this. We need to keep trying to find kills and, and get those death timers here for the side of JDG. Exactly. Still, why, did, why does this feel like a game that JDG are going to win a sheet? I don't know. I was going <laughs> to say that it's like, I don't understand why I'm still just like, and IG will lose. And it's like, why? Why do I feel like that? Well, we have a replay here and we can see why 369 probably died as he goes flashing in on top of on. And yeah, just very low. Yeah, very low from all of that initial damage. Crying. This is way out to safety with the flash. That was exchanged in that specific of plate. As this Chemtech Dragon is spawning in 30 seconds, and maybe JDG won't give them Chemtech so Maybe they feel differently, as they are taking control of this side of the map now. But IG, top side. So, is this the classic? It's the Gambit, isn't it? We might do yeah. Baron. Be careful, because Baron's on the table. JDG, if you go to Dragon, that one's ours. You have to come contest us. Maybe that's how they win the fight. Or maybe IG want to go for the chem soul themselves. The thing is, I feel like Baron is definitely the thing that would force IG in a much better situation. Now I'll be trying to run away from this one here. And Tenzin finds himself all alone. He's going to have to immediately get a Vault Breaker out of there. Tenzin now taken very low. Finally shut down by Knight. That's now a 5v4 in favor of JDG. And the wheels are turning. We're starting to see the momentum of this game going back towards JDG. As they are going to be able to confirm themselves this Dragon. IG though should maybe be able to get this mid. No, they can't. There's too many people in mid lane to kind of cover this. Yeah, they're clearing the wave, JDG. They don't want to give up an inch of ground. They kept uh, Kanabi. Kanavi and Rula <laughs> on that dragon. Bit, so bit of stank on his side. name there, just because, you know, he's not having a great time. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kanavi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Even do that on purpose, but, you know, I guess it's just sometimes some things are just a little bit natural. But, uh, yeah, IG now don't have that Chemtech Soul super early on. I'm going to be honest. Maybe having Elder on the map is a lose con for IG. I think it might just be... <laughs> I just I'm actually thinking the same, to be honest. You know what? Maybe it's, maybe it's just better it stays off the map. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go with that. As uh, I suppose now it's just about the Baron for the next couple of minutes and what these side lanes are going to do. Wisecam is making his way to the hole breaker. So once he has that, the buffed up cannon minions will definitely help out a bunch. Uh, and the additional MR to actually be able to deal with some of that night poke as well. Certainly going to go the distance once he's actually got it completed, but now i think he's still a little while away at least be a thousand or so for how long he's been out on the map with these components and that much uh with those components i think it's about 1.3k 1.6 something like that hey oh he thinks he's gonna go. yeah 
Yeah, Knight will see him. So YSKM goes back towards his farming ways. Doesn't want to get caught out by anybody else. But here's the thing. I feel like this Baron is very important for IG. I feel like the ADG can kind of do with it or do without it. They're kind of fine with it. But if you want to try and, as you say, with the hole breaker and the fuel on the split push, get those towers down. Make her an uncontestable side laner. You need that Baron for her to be able to try and continually push into Knight. Gives you that extra little bit of buffed up minions. Gives you an opportunity as well to... You just gotta keep the pressure in. You can see right now they're kind of just equally trading. No one really having the the better of the other. So for IG, I feel like that Baron as it is right now is the key thing they need to start looking at. Exactly, Baron has to be secured. Icecam looked for Knight, and now he's likely gonna die. Okay, teleport. How long can Ooh, he flash wow. Knight? Looking for a little bit more and actually juked him out a little bit as well, using that clone very, very nice. He gets the flash, or sorry, the, yeah, the flash and the teleport. And then speaking of flashes, Wink has already lost his. So he's probably going to fall down here in the next second or two. He does have a bit of Spider-Man uses in him. Tenzin is off the side, but can he really help out his support? He can with a teleport coming in. They're going to flash in onto Wink. He just throws in one last dredge line to make it work. Missing has been left out to dry. And on picks up that kill. They will be able to turn this one right back on the 369. No! He gets the knockback because he got Sante. Double kill coming in for JDG. It's a two for two trade overall. Yeah, two for two. Teleport was blown by Crying as well. Almost finds Ruler, or Knight rather. The end of that Vault Breaker, but not going to be enough. Skirmishes are incredibly close. I like the creativity there from Tianjin, just kind of hiding in the wolf pit whilst JDG kind of overreaching, to say the least, for Wink. Quite able to find out pick this time around, though. I mean, that ends up being a, a matter of them losing two members, but no objective besides the Baron on the map and it not being a takeable objective because of how this unfolded. It's not going to be a case. It goes down. I liked what YSKM tried to do there, thinking that perhaps... Knight would early distort back uh, and time the repost uh, down towards where he is. So he times it actually and looks up to where that reposition is as this is how this engage happens. Kind of caught out. Arn gets a taxi out from the angle on missing, but Wink has to get a run down. And then again, Tianjin just kind of hiding here. He's aiming for Ruler. But I think maybe from his vision, briefly loses vision of him and then just flat out misses, unfortunately. Not able to turn it around, and if they can actually kill off Ruler first, this fight looks significantly different. But unfortunately, it's not the case. And then, Sante. <laughs> Cassante does Cassante things. <laughs> We're looking at a gold lead now for JDG. It's gone from 1,000, 2,500 down to 1,500 up. They are starting to feel far more comfortable with the state of the game, but I will say for IG, all it takes is one big fight. We talked about the Venn diagrams of death. In the previous game, you still have the Samira and the Nico combination, so all it takes is one good pop blossom, but it's so difficult to find it. Like, I mean, JDG will have to try and, you know, honestly, it will take JDG getting caught out and the fact that, like, Ruler and Knight dying early for this team fight to really go in IG's favor. Yeah, exactly. IG, uh, they have to find Ruler super quickly. It, it's not even a, a matter of, like, hey, you know, maybe if we kill off Knight, then they'll, you know, Tien. have to be a good team fight. Like, it yep. has to be him. Tianjin, though, like, you call. Cool. On the flank. On the flank. Doesn't take a lot of damage. There was a lot of tanks kind of throwing abilities at him there. You see YSKM was looking for maybe a bit of a movement here. Kemsol, again, up available for Ooh. IG as everyone moves from that mid lane back down towards that river. Ruler is pretty healthy, but Knight not so healthy on his own. We'll have those extended or e e enhanced honey fruits to make sure they get the healing back and Kanavi gets taken out by the ultimate by uh, of the Nautilus now on jumping in trying to deal with 369 and the ultimate from the Vi means oh. the pop blossom hits four and that's exactly what you want to be seeing here from IG they we have to turn back this fight ruler cannot contribute and what looked like it was going to be JDG slowly burning them down IG find the perfect fight oh crying to re-engage is so good it might have just got IG almost everything they need to actually try and put a little bit more pressure back onto JDG because that soul, they should be barren and there's a lot of standing towers on the map which is just going to inflate the gold difference between the two teams. JDG might be having a little bit too much fun here, Rasheed, and IG I, won't yeah. be too mad about it. I mean, IG are not dead and buried yet. We talked about a little bit earlier how important this Baron buff could be. Let's look at the replay because 369 almost gets the kill onto On, but that ultimate from the Vi just separates everything. Yeah, it really does. Down here, this is where things kind of first start to maybe go awry. 
but like you mentioned, this Q and ult save here to keep Cassante from dealing any more damage to Arna, potentially killing me is huge. And then this re-engage, because I feel like JDG were just trying to get to the back of the pit and actually finish off or just add to what was going on back there. Not expecting crying to just turn around like that and find four members. Wipe the floor with JDG and now Baron with Soul. Combat stats as high as they possibly can be until the Elder is ready and available to be picked up as well. It's a good opportunity for IG. Again, flex the muscles a little bit. Have a little bit of fun. But also, crucially, maybe take a game off JDG. That's a really big confidence boost. Moving forward for the remainder of the split. We'll wait and see how it all ends up kind of panning out at the end of it. But I will say, if JDG do end up kind of... Uh... Losing the game here would mean that if they 2-0 the next series, they go to 13-1 alongside Billy Billy. They would both be on plus 20, <laughs> which yeah, is you know, this, this is wild. one of those awkward <laughs> things like, you know, at the end of the day for JDG, right? Oh, okay. Kanabi. He's dead. At the end of the this day, is awkward. <laughs> for JDG, they will probably still finish top two more yep. times than they don't, right? If anything, number one. If anything, potentially number one. But you don't want to, you don't want to lose first place to series percent or well not series percent but like individual game, game difference. difference like that is something you could genuinely lose first place off of right now i think jdg may have may have given ig too much from the cookie jar here and i mean ig we talked about how they mathematically needed a 2-0 all of their series and then you know, hope and pray for some other results they're already technically mathematically out of playoffs but as soon as the pressure was off they are Pushing in onto JDG. It feels like JDG are very much under pressure. 369 goes forward, hooked in, taken really low. Just end up flashing away after using the all out onto YSKM. As they now try to look for a great hook on tonight here from Wink. Pop Blossom lands down. YSKM did give over his life, but it looks like IG are going to be forcing JDG to a game number three. These health bars are low and Ruler is still very healthy. Uh, main plates off a few. Looked at this game for maybe some time in 2018. You'd be like, man, you know, this oh! world champions. IG on their way. It makes sense. This is a completely different version of this team. Very funny to see this game go the way it does. But like you mentioned, it's like we're going to a game number three. IG game are pushing three. them the way. They're going for it. There's going to be the from the deaths right on top of ruler 369 trying to cut off the wave but he's just not tanky enough on with the inferno trigger makes it a guarantee ig will be forcing jdg to three and they're not quite done with this series this could still get messy for jdg they're not confirmed for top two yet and we'll have to see how game number three goes as ig keep themselves alive in this series just about gonna finish off the game that was a little closer than i anticipated <laughs> Even as the Nexus falls, it feels like everything is so typically geared towards JDG, you know, winning. And uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it almost still ended up 